three photographers with three styles shooting three different scenarios. Another challenge coming your way. I'm from Blackfoot, Idaho. I'm a husband. Um, I'm a father to five dogs, a fish, a frog, and a cat. No kids. I coach high school football, so I have a ton of boys around me all the time, so that's cool. We met at my sister's wedding. We yeah. were supposed to sing a song together, which we did. And then we just kind of became friends and were friends for quite a few years. And then eventually decided we'd make a good team and got married. 18 years ago. 18, yeah, 18 years. years. Four kids. Four kids later. Yep. yep. Sarah. Yes. Who are you with? This is Dylan. He's lover. my boyfriend. He's my lover. Yes. We've been together for like six years and so we work together on pretty much all of our projects. So this is the challenge box and you're going to have three clues in here and who would like to read it? Hold it. Okay. Open it up. Do you know what you're doing today? So. No idea. Really excited. <laughs> I'd, I'd, we, Joe's Crab Shack, I was scared to death when you guys said to me here, it's like, what are we doing? Is it like a pirate theme? <laughs> so, do you know what you're doing here today? Uh, I'm just gonna, I met some other photographers and we're just gonna get thrown in situations and shoot and just pray I don't suck and that's <laughs> it, I'll, that's all. Anything that you hope we don't do? Kids, babies, <laughs> kids. I can handle babies, you can put them to sleep. Honestly, I'm not a great kid shooter. Yeah. No, I, I don't have that skill set. Are you really. nervous at all? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm telling. I'm super nervous. It's scary. Yeah. You know, I just don't want to. I don't want to not do well. Yeah. Maybe no. maybe not food photography. <laughs> That's it. I'm wondering, like, if it's, if it's people or if it's products. Like, I'm hoping it's. I'm hoping it's people because that's really where I shine. But I'll try anything. I can't think of any. I don't want to ride a roller coaster. I don't want to. I don't do, want to skydive either. Well, I could do the skydiving. I don't really want to do anything in a barnyard that requires me to wear rubber boots. <laughs> yeah, I guess going the wrong way. <laughs> Commercial steel guns. <laughs> uh, 3640 West Chinon Boulevard. We're actually going to flip a coin so we can each have who's going to go first, second, and third. And then when we get to the place, we'll just discover more about the details and what you guys are going to do today. looking at all this amazing art and here we thought it was 20 men that put this together and we come out and here is the woman behind the art. <laughs> yes. You are incredible. Well thank you. Seriously, thank everything you. that you put together. We're gonna get some shots of um, Lady Lib Liberty. Okay. Is that what you call her, Lady Liberty? She's actually, her title is Liberty Let's Roll. Yeah? It's all about moving with your freedom. Yeah. <laughs> and and why, what inspired you to put that together? Well, it was right after 9-11, and I kind of woke up that day to um, what freedom really meant. Mm -hmm. and, and I had to ask myself for the first time um, the very personal question, what, what, what does freedom, um, how valuable is it for me, and what am I willing to give for it? Uh, liberty, being a woman, and myself a mother, uh, I certainly would lay my life down for my children mm -hmm. and uh, Liberty is sort of an icon of the mother of people who want to be free. Wow. She would do the same thing. How did you even get into this? Like why welding? Why amazing pieces of art and even your bathroom in there is, is a huge piece of art. What well, got you into this? Well, um, I have always been a sculptor. Mm -hmm. um, typically, I was working in other mediums such as clay, yeah. and, but unfortunately, I'm very clumsy. And so clay and other things would break when I discovered steel. Um, I thought, wow, this doesn't break. In fact, it kind of breaks me. Yeah. Uh, 
Lit wow. Literally, I've broken my pelvis, Seriously? and yes, I've broken fingers, and oh my so goodness. steel is, um, it had the unlimited potential of the medium also, yeah. and then it's durability. Oh yeah. Uh -huh. You know, the viewers are artists, and we can all appreciate this, so. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm all about um, inspiring other artists, so go artists. You have my <laughs> blessing. We That's need awesome. it from each other. Totally. Yeah. Well, thank you again. You're welcome. Well, we just want to watch you in action. Okay. So, well, I'm going to step back. Don't start yet. Okay. Okay. I got to think of what for my next. <laughs> okay. uh oh, I'll just have to fake it. Maybe. Okay. <laughs> Welcome to Woman of Steel, where um, I just got done welding, so that's why I'm wearing my hat, right? What do you guys think? Cool place? Yes. Cool? Have you guys been here before? Yeah, some yes, some haven't. And we've also got some incredible ammunition and very scary things down here that our friend Dan from Primary Weapon System brought. We've got three different piles that Dan placed, and he is needing some specific things today for a commercial shoot. And we're just going to kind of give him the floor here to introduce what each pile is. And what is it that you're going to be needing? Well, basically, Primary Weapon Systems, uh, we are a manufacturing company of military-grade um, AR-15s and other uh, uh, weapon systems. These are the three lines that we have uh, created, all encompassed in our sporting line. And what we're looking for is just uh, product uh, placement, photography that we can get to uh, promote our lines. Basically we just want to highlight the products themselves. The guns uh, are what we manufacture. Everything else is props for the guns, but they're all things that are associated with the type of, of firearm that we have. Okay. Um, and so that's what we're trying to portray. Three different piles, three different photographers. We flipped a coin and Craig is going to be having the choice of whether he would like to go first, second or third. You're going to have three different models and once one model is used then you have the choice of the second or third model. Utilize your styling team. They're here for you, for makeup, for hair. Um, you've also got, you know, they have a lot of experience with on set. You know, let you guys be the photographers, let them move hair or if you like to do it yourself that's up to you but collaborate with them if you would like. Who's your primary buyer? You know, it's across the board. It's military, law enforcement, uh, for our other products. Dudes. We anticipate dudes, absolutely. Dudes. Definitely. Yep. Okay, so you have an amazing backdrop of Woman of Steel. So many things in this space to use. You're welcome to go indoor or outdoor, but you guys have your indoor equipment. Okay, Craig, you've got three hot models here. Obviously, they work out a little bit, right? So you've got Jesse, Nick, and Aaron and you've got three different piles. What kind of look are you gonna go for? Um, I'm gonna pick Jesse. I'm gonna pick the AR-15 and we're gonna shoot in this room. Okay, and what order would you like to go? Uh, I'm gonna go second because of styling. Okay, you can kind of talk with Jesse and, and kind of get acquainted with her if you'd like. And... Hi. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Good luck, Craig. So who are you gonna choose? I'm gonna pick Aaron right here. So he's my guy. She would just wanted to. Play I know. Really. <laughs> <laughs> I want to make sure you're safe. Set right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Get you get you acquainted with the set here. So um, and the you, hunting. You're gonna do hunting. hunting pile. Yeah. Okay. And what order do you want to go in? You want to go. I'd first? like to go last. You want to go last? Yeah. Okay. Good luck. All right. Okay. So you guys have Nick. Nick. And he's not just muscles. He's brains too. Okay. <laughs> So you guys also have the last pile here, and which one is this? The rim fire pile. Oh yeah? yeah? Okay. And you guys have a good idea of what you're gonna do with Nick? Absolutely. Cool. Let's do, it. Let's do it. Good luck, you guys. And you guys get to go. Sounds like first. You get to go first. Mm -hmm. Alright, so utilize your styling team if you need to and pick a location. We'll just kind of follow you around.
you know, I don't think it's gonna get better or worse. I think whatever it is is what it is, and we're our brains are different. So it's almost better for me, I guess, if I shoot without any other preconceived ideas or um, any expectations. I just shoot. I just do what I do. And, yeah. And how about you? Yeah, I'm good. I, 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 it's hard to miss with all these awesome products and yeah, great models, yeah. and I think it's going to be good. Yeah. So you're not you're not frantic at all because you've got about 45 minutes to do your shoot. They're like, what? Bring on a challenge, yeah. framed, <laughs> free. And are you happy with your model? Let's pretend oh, yeah. he's not oh, standing yeah. right there. No, he, no. he looks like a gun guy. Yeah, yes. yeah. He's definitely gun guy. Great nose, great features. We haven't seen the, you know, the so we six need pack to, yet. So we need to take off a shirt. If, if you need it, Melissa, I'm sure he's <laughs> Nick's willing. <laughs> Cool. We, well, we might get there, I don't know. Does anybody have a spray bottle and some oil or anything? Oh, yeah. Or okay. we could just get some grease from in here. Mess so <laughs> them up a little bit. Well, we're both creative, and to me it's a great way. I've always, I've always done, kind of dabbled in different kinds of art, fine arts or, you know, writing, songs, poems, things like that. But I wasn't very good at it, and I felt like I just needed some way. I've even danced, and I just can't express myself any other way. We actually moved to Boise uh, about seven years ago, I got hired to, to um, work with a small firm here as um, uh, their art director. And I've been, I've been doing graphic design for 20 years. Five months later, the company completely disappeared and we had already bought a house and another car. Jen was shooting weddings and, and some things casually. And so I launched off, started a design firm with a friend of mine here in town. It's always different. Every day is something new. And we get to meet a ton of people. We, yep. We're people people. Every time we meet with clients, we actually pray that we'll be a blessing to them. We want to be a, something in their lives that, that brings enrichment. We primarily do weddings and high school seniors, mm -hmm. but I think kind of like a lot of other studios at the moment, we'll do whatever comes through. And, um, and we've got a lot of whatever comes through right now. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we've actually done a lot of um, maternity lately and a lot of boudoir. Mm -hmm and um, a lot of babies. We have little juicy babies keep showing up <laughs> that are just fun to do things with and yeah. put in places and you know, 20 years from now they're gonna look back and go, mom, what were you thinking? <laughs> I'm a Pilates teacher off on my off time and so I really, I'm very aware of people's bodies and where they should be and so um, again, that high fashion kind of posing, even even for families, we make them look kind of sexy and yeah. you know, and just, he, yeah, and, yeah. And your personality. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> Yeah, we shoot the cover of, of uh, Treasure Valley Family Magazine every month. Alright, so essentially what we want to try and do is um, just keep this background as, as our background. Um, not let a whole lot of anything come out of it. Um, and again, we're thinking rugged. And so um, we're obviously in a very nice place. If this were a boudoir shoot, this would be <laughs> super easy. Yeah. A little more rough. This isn't the choice. This is my thought of, of where I would go with, a, with taking a guy with guns. So, but that said, we've got these awesome textures everywhere. So we're just trying to utilize the textures on the floor, the backdrop. And uh, now we're just going to get kind of a little bit of a ratio going on his face and then try not to have the gun block and make a shot. Good, that's a great look. Okay, cool. Good. Go big. Yeah. Go big, baby. Come on. Oh, look at that smile. Holy cow. Yeah. That's amazing. Are you so cute? Yeah. Dang. I can't flip you off. <laughs>
So you just said you're super excited. Why are you super excited? Oh, I love the location. Yeah. You know, it's, it, it lends itself to being super creative. Yeah. Um, the models look awesome. Yeah. Um, so you chose a, you chose a female. You chose Jessie. I did. You go with what you know. Yeah. So, um, and I also think that given the task, I think that she best would fit what we're trying to convey. You know, I picked an amazing, you know, military rifle. Yeah. You know, it has sexy lines. She's yeah. sexy. You yeah. know, how do you beat those two things? And she's strong. She's, she's strong. A pretty girl. Well, that's that's the that is kind of the goal of the shoot is to, um, you know, there's a million pretty girls out there, but what we want to do is um, make her strong. Yeah. You know, yeah. and, and tough like the gun. Yeah. So probably about two and a half years ago when the Costco opened in our town, so we have not a big town, um, <laughs> I decided I just kind of wanted to get into it, so I went and bought a, a Rebel, you know, the kit with a couple lenses and started taking pictures, and uh, I knew I could edit them, I just didn't know if I could take them. And so then I just got into it and I loved it. Yeah, you know, I was an insurance guy for 10 years before that and hated it. Yeah. Just hated everything about it. What would you call your style? Man, I I'm, would say I'm a hodgepodge. You know, I shoot everything. Um, I love, you know, I'll shoot natural light. Uh, I love off-camera flash. I, you know, I love studio. Um, I don't, I don't really think I have any one singular style. I just, uh, you know, I love to shoot everything. You know, I, I think it's to me it's important that I can shoot everything. You know, I don't want to be in a situation with a client where, oh no, the lighting's this way. What am I gonna do? Or uh, you know, they want to be in a studio, you know, oh no, what am I, you know, how am I going to shoot that? Bridles are my favorite. Um, I love the dresses, you know, I love the texture of the dress, you know, that they're so happy and so vibrant and, you know, and they're just beautiful and pretty and it just, you know, it lends itself to awesome lines. For me, it would go um, bridles, um, athletes, uh, seniors, um, then glamour, pinup, boudoir, um and families kids you know they all tie <laughs> they for last <laughs> yeah <laughs> really cool you chose to go second why second um really i just want to give her time to to, to make sure we got all the wardrobe the correct and get the the, right. the, oh. the right look um just some extra time to prepare was all awesome okay are you nervous at all you seem settled you seem like since no. they're they're in there doing their shoot first now you're you have time to prepare a little bit more. Oh, I'm ready to rock and roll yeah. now. Yeah. I, yeah. I was. It was really nerve wracking at first, and then all the other photographers they're pretty cool. Yeah. And now it's really, even though it's a friendly competition, yeah. it, it's still competition. Right. And so now right. let's you know let's go let's shoot. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Okay. Well, I'm excited what you can do, Craig. We'll see. Work it. <laughs> Holler. Let's go. Perfect. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put the weight. So on me, right? So we're gonna have the weight on this hip here. So you're here, you're gonna elongate this. So you're kind of here like this. Try to keep that straight. Perfect, just like that. Your chin's gonna come up. Bring your head over this way a little bit. Good, perfect like that. Now, okay, so now, just see how your face is right now? Okay, you're like this. You're tense, okay? So remember, remember what I talked about? Mmm, 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 right, right. Okay, good. Okay, Craig, we are back in the hot room. We're in the welding room and you've got your hot model. But we wanted to, yes, high fives. She looks hot, seriously. You could beat me up. You could beat <laughs> most guys in here up. You look so good. So congrats with the styling team, that's awesome. Yeah, so, <laughs> so Carlos is here. Since you didn't have an assistant, Carlos is gonna be helping you out, right? Thanks for being my friend today. Anytime. Anytime. So um, anything that, that you need help with, what are you gonna do in here? What are you thinking? Okay, so what we're gonna do today is, uh, the environment's awesome. You know, I mean, we got a lot of really, really hard, tough objects, you know. Obviously, it's a welding shop. So anyway, today, we're, um, what we're gonna do is, is in the shop, everything's hard, you know, steel. It's yeah. really great. The actual product, you know, is metal. And so what we're gonna do, what I love to do the most is put something soft and pretty and beautiful against something really, you know, ugly or hard. And so we, you know, I got the perfect model, I got the perfect product. Uh, we're gonna shoot a lot of low angles to help elongate her legs, you know. And so what we're gonna do today is just make her powerful, you know, cool. make her as powerful as the gun and still keep her super pretty. Uh, so that's great. So I see that you've got a beauty dish in here and you've got backlight. What are you gonna do? 
what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a two light setup. This is gonna be our main here. Uh, then we're gonna use this as kind of a rim. We'll probably bring a reflector in for the fill depending on what it is. Uh, we'll underexpose in here to give it a more gritty fill. Uh, and then like I said, we'll light her up with the beauty dish. If the beauty dish has a little too much spill, um, so I didn't bring a grid for it. We'll probably switch over to a strip box uh, with a grid um, so we can control that light and just put it exactly where we want it so you know we don't illuminate too much uh, in here. So really, uh, that's a shot. Awesome. Man, we're just going to go for it and have a lot of fun. It'll cool. be cool. It'll be good. Carlos, you excited to hang out with my man Craig? Absolutely. Yeah? I hear he's me. I hear lots of people around. I am a tyrant, uh, so I, hey, I, I apologize now. I apologize I now. <laughs> I've got two sticks. <laughs> awesome. Well, good luck, Craig. We'll start your timer. You got 45 minutes. Okay, cool. Awesome. Okay, good luck. Cool. Thank you. Sit straight on the knee. Your legs sit on wider base. Drop your gun just a little bit, so it's a more comfortable grip. You're gonna turn your chin this way a little bit. Bring it back to me. Keep coming on. No, just your chin. So, but I can do just like that a little more. Perfect. Drop the gun a little bit further. Raise your chin up just a hair. Tilt the head this way a little bit. Right there. Perfect. Beautiful. Just like that. Drop your chin just a little bit. Nice. Stay right there. Turn your chin this way just a little bit. Big time eyeball. Look at that. Right here. Yeah, did you push that right up there? There you go. Good job. Good Just like that. Perfect. Don't move. See you there. Perfect, don't move. Beautiful. Last just a couple shots. Okay. Done. Stay there. Oh my god, who knows that sucker? Stay there. What are you thinking? Um, you thinking well, we're doing the hunting, so we're gonna kind of uh, stick along those lines, but um, we have a really, really nice looking model, so uh, yeah. Yeah. we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna um, do some, some harsh lighting on him and try a couple different things, so. Cool. And then did you get direction for your, for your model? I mean, for your stylist? Is he up there yeah, to make Yeah, he, he's, he was just up there, so I think he just came down. Yeah, um, what direction did you give? Uh, He's a very clean shaven, cut, well clean cut, not clean shaven, but yeah. clean cut kind of guy. So we're kind of trying to rough him up a little bit. Cool. Yeah. So do you think that you'll use a specific wall? Did you look around? Yeah, you know, the, there's a wall over there with all of the antlers and horns and we're probably going to start there. And then for the product, we're thinking maybe back in the, the room, the welding room. Yeah. So. Awesome. Good luck, sister. I had a short stint as a model when I was younger. I wanted to be an actress, and so I pursued that for a little bit. And then um, that turned into when I was in high school, I was like, well, now I want to be a model. I ended up in Italy for a while and did a little bit of work there. And, you know, after I came back, I got, uh, I got a little bit more into the photography side of it. I took classes in college and in mostly film at the time, and then I was introduced to digital, my parents got me a digital uh, SLR, DSLR when um, they, they saw that I really liked it. So um, I eventually stepped up to like a nicer one and really this is my kind of inaugural year as a photographer. So I, it's, it's really just been kind of a, a joy ride. Like I've been uh, trying to build up my portfolio and just doing everything. Like we do lifestyle stuff, we do weddings, we've done, um, a little bit of fashion, which is kind of where I really feel like I um, would like to aspire. Look off like like that way, like you're maybe looking at something to shoot inside. They're both yeah. 
gridded. This one is a smaller grid, and we have the soft box with the larger grid. Yeah. Um, we're just having him stand in front of this wall of these really, really interesting, I think, yeah, they're all metal, so yeah. they're all formed. They it's look so beautiful. Cool. Huh. Yeah. So we're just gonna have him look like he's kind of a badass person. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Cool. <laughs> so you you want this, to, are you putting in kind of your fashion flair? Of, I think I, it's hard not to. Yeah. So yeah. So yeah. Okay. Yeah, and did you talk to him and kind of describe what your style is and instructions for the model? What did you tell him? I told him to look good. <laughs> He's like, I'll do possible. my best. I'll do my best. She said to look like you're crying. Yeah, so really? Like Holding a gun and crying. <laughs> and I wanted to show his feminine side. Yeah. Awesome. I put on my tilt shift lens and uh, it's a 45 machine and I'm kind of just wanting to get him in focus and the background like all out of focus. That's a good way to do that. But uh, doing portraits. Actually, let's keep this back. Guys, how do you think today went? That was a lot of fun. Was that good? Yeah, yeah. what a crazy fun. adventure. Uh, an adventure. <laughs> Always an adventure here with the Frame Show. Mm -hmm. So, what did you do? Tell us what you did on each of the models. Um, for the men, I did very minimal yeah. amount of work and um, just around their eyes and yeah. did some hair. And then with Jessie, you and just with Jessie, kinda... yeah, we just mm -hmm. wanted to keep her eyes bright. So I just yeah. did some contouring around her eyes and then made her eyes. On set with the wardrobe and the accessories yeah. and making sure everything is good when the frame is shot. Oftentimes the photographers will notice the lighting and how they're framing but not necessarily a crease across the chest or yeah. hair in their eyes or those kinds of things. So I try to make sure I get every nitpicky little thing. Yeah, for it's sure. Perfect shot. Okay, so you go by Spy Girl. Style Spy Girl. Style Spy Girl. And why Spy Girl? Style Spy Girl. Uh, because I'm always seeking style, and style detective girl just sounded too long, so <laughs> because style spy girl is a little bit catchier. Yeah, very so cool. I have a fashion blog and um, videos on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, yeah. just kind of getting the word out and spreading fashion and style around Boise. Fabulous. Because people don't, th I mean, people think Idaho, but there's a lot of style here. There is. There's a lot of very talented artists, and you're going to actually do an event here this week. What are you going to be doing? Next weekend, Next I'm week. going to be doing... Um, hosting a benefit fundraiser here for a group called Mercy in Action that trains uh, midwives and medical volunteers to go over to Asia and help save the lives of women and children over there that are dying in mostly in childbirth and labor situations. So they travel through the mountains and jungles with their backpacks delivering babies and giving prenatal and postnatal exams and just saving lives. They've delivered over 12,000 babies since they were founded in 92. How do you think it went? I thought it was awesome. Yeah? It was super fun, my model was cool. I, I you know, I love the setting. Yeah. Uh, I, I really, really love the pace because you know, you just can't really mess around, you had to get out of oh, it. So you it were fun. all over the place, man. Yeah, it was fun. It was and really and fun. you said that that's a regular shoot. That wasn't just your four to five minute timeline. That was, that's you. Yeah, I get really manic because I get, you know, I really get excited and then, you know, Sometimes it takes a little longer to get in the groove once you do, and then you just go. Yeah. Yeah, it's cool. It's fun. Yeah. So, we did, you know, we just did two lights set up. At first, I had the beauty dish, but the beauty dish, um, we just didn't have enough coverage, so it yeah. fell off a little too much, and so we got kind of weird color, so we switched over to a strip light to, to light her a little bit more, and with the grid, we were able to control the spill a little bit more, and that was important, you know, kind of in here. Yeah. And then the, the backlight we just used, um, for a rim, you know, to, to bring it out and uh, mostly for separation because the gun was black, she had some dark clothing on. You know, we're a little dark here because we're underexposing the, the scene anyway, so we need to separate her a little bit more. But you've also got this top light, the natural light that you mixed in there too. The natural light helped with, with the ambient light. Without this, to me, it'd be a nightmare because, you know, you'd be sh shooting at such a slow shutter speed or having to illuminate at some you know, artificial way 
it would have made a, a much more headache. So yeah. the skylights, uh, you know, really helped. Do you, do you like how everything turned out? I loved it. It was, yeah. that was awesome. It was fun. And you were nervous at first. to see everything on a computer though. Yeah. It always looks way different. For sure. Yeah. Well, you said one comment that you wish, um, well, heat of the moment, the reflection in the window. Yes, yeah, the reflection in the window. I mean, I can take that in Photoshop pretty easily, but yeah. I wish I didn't have to. Yeah. Now, did you want to shoot any film today, but you brought it just in case, depending on the challenge? Or? Yeah, we brought it just in case we had time to. I don't yeah. think we would have, though, just because we were so rushed. Yeah. But okay. We, there... we do like the film. It's just... It's so easy. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> I just forgot he was there, and then I look over, I'm like, oh, he's a mannequin. He's really he's good at there. Yeah. <laughs> 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 you're the worst mannequin, man. Don't laugh. Should have picked his nose. Okay, so is there anything that you you maybe would have done different, or what do you think? Um, I can't like even really recall right now. <laughs> Everything you're doing. I mean, maybe so when fast. I yeah, maybe when I think about it later, I'll be like, oh. I wish I would have done that, but yeah. at, at the moment I'm pretty happy with what we did. Yeah, cool. So you you used your two light setup, right? Yeah, pretty much the whole time. Yeah, and you had your grids on there, mm -hmm. alien bees. You had your 24 to 70. Yeah, I had a 24 to 70, a 50, and I think I used my uh, 45 millimeter tilt shift. Oh, as well. you just your tilt? Yeah, just just for a couple shots downstairs yeah. with the antlers. So we'll see how those turn out. Oh, but. well, I'm excited. I think they'll be awesome. Yeah. You had Rambo, you had, I know. I mean Johnny Knoxville, Jesse Metcalf, whatever you want to call him. Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber? <laughs> oh! <laughs> <laughs> stinking hot and you had such a short amount of time I mean how do you what do you, what do you guys think how to go I think it went well for yeah. the amount of time we had but yeah it was it was there's a lot of pressure there to do two different completely different things and commercial photography is not something we do as much yeah. and we usually have a lot more modifiers and a lot more to use at our studio so modifiers especially with product shots because you yeah, want everything yeah. so well lit yeah, yeah to accentuate different surfaces yeah. And, yeah so but you were there kind of putting things in the right place I mean it looks cool to me did it come across well in your photos I didn't see a single photo but she looked amazing <laughs> taking the photos so I yeah. yeah I'm sorry I was so bossy <laughs> Oh. I get I get really bossy, please, especially if I have a time limit. Oh sure. I need this. I need this. Yeah. yeah. But, but that's the, that's you're okay. in your element. You it's guys good. can work it out at home, right? Yeah. You're okay. It's already done. It's done. It's good. <laughs> I would have liked to have been on a hillside, rugged binoculars, looking out yeah. something. Yeah. But you know that shot's been done. Well, and it's one o'clock in the afternoon, so it would have taken so much more thought to go outside. Yeah. We didn't have the time to deal with all that. That's right get out even more modifiers and things to shade and yeah so. with it being one o'clock in the afternoon your lighting is harsh you would yeah. have had a lot so maybe with a little bit more time you guys maybe would have done one more shoot outside sure yeah, oh, yeah absolutely yeah. Okay. now you guys had to go first so that was a little bit more you literally I mean the two other photographers have had an hour to scope out yeah. and really think about this you guys had a little pressure going first I know we better see some really amazing really <laughs> <amazing> stuff <laughs> Hi, friends, viewers. I hope you like my images. Please vote for me. I'd love to win this thing. Um, I don't know what to say. 
My name is Craig Lemire. I'm the owner of Moz Studios and Moz Couture. I'm a portrait photographer and I've been Frank. <laughs> Hi Frame fans, I'm Sarah with Sarah K. Burn Photography. If you like my stuff, please go and vote for me because I want to win. Right? Good job. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Dylan. And I'm Sarah from Sarah K. Burn Photography. And, and we've, we've just, just been, been framed. framed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're all two photography. We had a blast doing this. It's been a really fun project, so go vote for our photos. <laughs> I'm Jerry Oates. I'm Jennifer Oates. We're, We're O2, O2 Photography, photography and, and we've just, just been framed. <laughs> now it's up to you. Go to frameshow.com to vote for your favorite and see you next week.